we shut the power off on the garage door. You always want to do that before you do any service in case someone doesn't know what you're doing and they press the remote and close the door in your head while you're working on it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to lubricate the tracks and we're going to do it in where the rollers run on the back and the front, mostly through the radius. The, most homeowners will end up spraying the rollers thinking that the noise is coming from the rollers. If you have a white nylon roller such as this, most likely you're not getting any noise from that roller. The noise comes when it goes through the track and when the panels turn. So we're just going to adjust the nozzle to the right to medium. And we're going to do a little spray on the inside of where the roller is going to travel. And we're not going to coat it. You don't need to go overboard with the lube. Just give it a little bit of a coating. And then take your cloth and you're going to wipe it down so that it doesn't clump. So more than lubing, you're actually cleaning the track. You're getting any debris that may have gathered in there, any dust, any sort of particles, you're going to get them out of the track. And just nicely, this is something that homeowners can do, no problem. Again, make sure your door is disconnected so no one closes on you. And once that's done, you're going to press the button and make sure everything runs nice and smooth. Quiet.